All right, Mr. Cash 22 here. Like, comment, subscribe down below. Let's get this party started. Solve the linear equation part three. Long overdue. Man, it's been a long, long time. But let's get this party started. So for our first question, we have seven parentheses, parentheses, three X plus six, which equals 11 minus parentheses, parentheses, X plus two. How do we take care of this? Well, first things first, we got to figure out what are we solving for here? And it's obviously X, okay? So we got that off the bat. Next thing we look at when trying to solve for this equation is, hey, we see that there's a wall. We have our left side, we have our right side. Next, looking at this question, personally, you'd probably want to jump in and then like you saw in part one and part two, where you'd have to like subtract one side. Then when you do on one side, you have to do on the other side. But before we jump into that, let's, let's try to clean this up a little, okay? Let's try to make this look a lot more presentable. Something that we can do, okay? So um, let's take the seven and distribute the seven into this parentheses. Let's take this negative and distribute this negative into this parentheses as well, okay? We're just trying to make this clean, make this a lot better. So we'll do seven distributing to this. So when you do the math, you get seven times three X, you get 21 X, okay? Then when you take the seven, you do the same thing with the six. What do you get? You get a positive 42, okay? On one side of all. And then from there, you would also continue on. So you put the equal sign, okay? And then with this 11, well this 11 basically gets dropped down. Then you take this negative, distribute there, distribute there. So you get negative x, and then you get this negative 2, okay? So now that we have that situated, everything was pretty much tip-top shape. Now, what we would pursue and, you know, continue on doing is, like I said, let's try to clean this up as much as possible before we do anything too crazy. But in regards to that, and with this type of situation that we have presented in front of us, we can look at one side of the wall, the left or the right. So the right... We can see we have 11 minus x minus 2, okay? So before we continue on, personally, I would like to basically simplify this a lot more on this right side of the wall because we have this 11 and then we have this negative 2 right here. Okay, so positive 11 and then we have this negative 2 right here. Me personally, I would simplify that and drop this, um, basically mirror this, drop this equal sign. 11 minus the 2, get 9 minus the x, okay? And then on the other side, you have your 21x plus 42. Then just pretty much like before, what you do on one side of the wall, you have to do on the other side of the wall, okay? In my personal opinion, because we have 2 right here, we have um, basically this number with this variable plus another number, and then on this other side of the wall, we have a number by itself and then we have a number plus minus the variable because like in the other terms or in other words there's a negative one right there it's imaginary so um, like I said what you do on one side of the wall you have to do on the other so personally uh, let's take care of this side in my opinion right and bring it to the left or you can do left bring it to the right whatever you're most comfortable with so I'll take this 9 subtract that since it's positive 9 and this negative x, I'll make this positive x, and I'll bring this over. So you have 21x plus x plus 42 minus 9. Okay, so now that you have this written down, and then you would proceed on by basically adding your like terms. And don't forget, this is equal to 0. Don't forget that that's extremely important. You'll get dock points, I promise you. So we'll add the like terms with the x's and the x right there. So then when we add those two together, you get 22x plus 42 minus 9 equals 0. And then we have these two right here, 42 minus the 9. And if you do the math, you get 22x plus 33, which equals 0. Okay? So now that we have that pretty much situated, you're probably thinking, all right, so how do we go on from here, here on out? Remember, our goal is to solve for x. So in order for us to solve for x, what we're going to have to do is subtract the 33 on both sides. So you're going to have 22x, which equals this negative 33, correct? And then from there, you'll solve by x, 
by dividing the 22 to both sides. Okay? And your final answer, when it's all said and done, because you have negative 33 divided by 22. <laughs> and the, the crazy thing about this, when looking at this, you probably think, hey, yeah, this this is definitely the final answer, you know? This is this is definitely it. But you can definitely simplify this just to keep just to keep in mind. Okay? And by that what I mean is don't forget one way you can simplify this is knowing what number can go into both well 33 and 22. Well, um let me think about it. Well, if you do 33 divided by 11 Okay, you do 33 divided by 11, I'll use my pen. So negative 33 divided by 11, you'll get negative 3. And then if you do 22 divided by 11, you get a positive 2, okay? So in other words, if you do, if you take 11 on both, both end, both the top, the numerator, and the denominator, this is what you're going to get simplified to. So x is going to equal to negative 3 over 2 and this should be your final answer then when you plug and chug it back in into the original equation um, like I said always verify the number you get on one side should equal to the number you should get on the other side alright that was that was a lot that was one question uh, let's do two more let's just do a little two more something like that let's say for instance I had something written like um, what if this was a lot of room let me flip it to the other side just to make sure you guys get the whole thing so I'm not running out of room. Alright, so let's say for question two you had something written like um, 9 times 2x plus 8 which equals 20 minus x plus 5. Let's say you had something written like this, okay? For an example, how would you you know, how would you solve for something like this? Same rule applies. Just looking at it on both sides, knowing that there's that wall. And then we can make this a lot more pretty. So what we'll do is distribute that 9 there, the 9 here. So you'll get 18x, okay, plus your 72. And then on the other side of the wall, we have a negative. So distribute that there, distribute that there. So drop the 20, get your negative x minus your 5 okay and then trying to you know proceed on from this what you would also have to do is look you have 2 right here 1 2 and you have 3 numbers I mean excuse me you have 3 right here 1 2 3 okay so what we can do is on one side of the wall we can see is we have a 20 here and then we have a negative 5 here so like I said let's make this look a lot more pretty all we would have to do is just basically take this 20 and then subtract it by that 5. And then if you do 20 minus 5, you get 15. So you get 15 minus x, okay? So then from there, how you would proceed on with this is you basically draw your line and then you'll look. All right, there's a 15 here, and there's a 72 here, and there's a negative x here, and there's a 18x. Okay, so our goal is to solve for x. So then from there, personally, what I'll do is I'll solve for this side of the wall, the right side. So you'll do the opposite. You have a positive, and then you turn, turn this to a negative, and then you have a negative, and you'll turn this into a positive. And then you'll bring it on to the left side. So you'll get 18x plus the x plus the 72 minus the 15, which equals to 0. Okay? So then from there on, there on out, what you would have to do is continue, but like I said, you would want to simplify this even more. So you have 18x plus your x, also 1x, which will give you 19x, okay? And then you have your 72 minus your 15, okay? So then this is also another like term that you would have, and you can, you know, handwrite this, do the math mentally, calculator but personally I would recommend it doing on um, handwritten or mentally and if you solve the two you should basically get positive 57 okay positive 57 so now that you have that written down 
And like I said, it's always good to always double check your math because you want to make sure that you're doing it correctly. Because if you get so far out and you mess up, then it's game over. <laughs> Not necessarily, but you know, you just got to pretty much got to retrace your steps again. And you also got to bring down this zero, okay? So once we have this situation, you know, pretty much almost figured out, our goal is to solve for x. So then from here on out, we subtract the 57 on both sides, 19x plus negative 57, divide the 19 on both sides, get x equals, and like I said, your best bet is, um, some of you guys obviously might know this off the top of your head, a lot of you guys don't, this, the answer is actually negative 3, um, because 19 does go into 57 three times perfectly fine so if you can take out your calculator just do 19 times 3 and you'll see that it is 57 but since 57 is a negative number our answer when we divide these two should be negative as well so this right here is your final answer like I said plug and chug back into the original question and what you get on one side of the wall should be correct on the other side all right flying through this whoops this is our third question and our last and final one of the day um, same rule applies let me um, add a little more funk to it let's say we had something written like this all right same rule applies um, like I said take care of this Imaginary wall, distribute, just to make sure it's clean. You get 6n minus 15 minus 7, which equals, distribute that, 4n minus 36. Okay, so now that we have that pretty much cleaned up and taken care of, we have 1, 2, 3, and we only have 1, 2. So it looks like on this side we have to clean up a little more because we want two, two, or is three, three on you know on the left and right side of the wall. So we try to try to make it even, okay? So we'll take care of this right here. We have this 15 minus this seven right there. So then this will give us a six n minus a twenty-two, which equals four n minus thirty-six. And then from there on forth, we'll Break this wall down a little. We'll subtract this 4n and we'll add this 36. And we'll basically bring it to this side, the left side of the wall. So then what we will get from there, I'll bring this down a little bit, is the 6n minus the 4n minus the 22 plus the 36, which equals to zero. Okay, then we'll add the like terms. Okay, so then you get 6n minus 4n, you get 2n, and you get these two as well right here. So you get negative 22 plus the 36, you get 14 when you add those two, which equals to 0. Okay, so then from there on out, we're solving for n, you subtract the 14 on both sides, you get 2n minus 14. Then you'll divide the 2 on both sides. You get n equals negative 7. That right there is your final answer. In order for you to confirm, make sure you plug it in back to the original question. That was crazy. That was a lot. Holy buckets. Uh, like I said, if you have any comments, questions, please put it down below. Uh, please hit the subscribe button. I'm trying to make this channel grow. Wishing you guys all the best. Keep working hard, keep pursuing it, and just keep practicing. Thank you and looking forward to you guys tuning in for the next video. Take care.